what's up guys welcome to another video i hope you guys are all doing good um in this video i saw a content creator where he's experiencing youtube racism and uh, my channel might get demonetized because of this but i feel this is something that we have to talk about and something which is very very unfair that youtube is doing uh this is a big content creator uh, his name is night talk I hope if you guys see this video that you guys at least can maybe contact YouTube or try to have a conversation because there's certain things which are starting to happen on social media which I find very unfair. And if you guys can spread this message, talk about this, it'd be very good. Now, I'm not a big YouTuber, but when I see injustice happening to somebody which I look up to and I think is a very good content creator, I don't think that we should stay silent. So let's do the reaction. Let's talk a little bit about some of the issues which he's experiencing because these are some of the issues which a lot of YouTubers are experiencing and I think a lot of black creators are experiencing just because the algorithm is different for us and you just you just got to point it out. All right, YouTube. <laughs> you win, bro. You win, dog. I don't even know what that means at this point. Mm. Like, what does that even mean, bro? Mm. Like, of course YouTube is going to win, dog. But like, <sighs> in real talk, like in the back of my mind, I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. But um, for those of y'all who don't know, right, channel Night Talk has been demonetized. It got demonetized back in August, right? Dropped the video on it. Um, and, you know, as of late, it probably may seem to y'all that, you know, I've been back in order because, you know, I'm continuing to pump out content and shit. But now, your boy's been demonetized the entire time. You know what I mean? Appealed it, got denied. And YouTube doesn't tell you what guidelines you're violating. Mm. Um, but I'm not violating the guidelines. It's, it's entirely cap. It's untrue. Right. But, you know, I was forced to play by their rules. Right. I went in there and tried to sanitize as much of my channel to fit in whatever guidelines they say. I'm yeah. And this is the thing also, because I Ethan and Ela uh, H3H3, they break all the guidelines possible, but they get to exist on YouTube. We're talking about people like Sniper Wolf. They do the, the exact same thing. They're doxing people. YouTube has not said anything about that. Then we got content creators like Sneeko, which got taken away from YouTube. They didn't give him a good reason. They just took him away. So I do not understand that. Like the only thing that I can see which is different between this guy, uh, H3H3, and even Sniper Wolf is that he's black. So, of course, we're going to demonetize the black creator. I would understand if YouTube came with a concrete reason why. But if they're not doing that, they're just saying, well, it's because of community guidelines. It's very vague. So it's very difficult for us to even try to figure out what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. It's, it's practically impossible because you have, let's say if you have a thousand videos, if they just single out a specific video which they do not like then they can take your whole channel away which i find pretty unfair and i don't understand like more people aren't talking about it. i guess the people which have it good the h3h3s and the sniper wolves they don't really have to think about this because it doesn't matter if they go home to somebody film that person's house put it out that, that doesn't really matter you know so there is there is a form of racism, a form of classism, which is happening right now. And the thing which I find so scary is the fact that you can work 10 years, 15 years, right? And somebody at YouTube cannot like your message or maybe one of your videos and they can just shut it down. I'm violating, bro, but I was just out. I was just in there just doing stuff willy nilly because I really have no clue as to what they're talking about. And they don't tell you mm -hmm. what they're talking about. But anyway, um. I've been waiting for November 6th to reapply for monetization, right? And for those of y'all who don't know much, the what they said was, I can't, my, 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 my channel is no longer eligible for the YouTube partner program because I reuse content, which is entirely cap. 
Cap, 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 cap. Mm. It's wrong. Correction. They say I reuse content without making any significant changes to it. But anyway, so fast forward, November 6th, and I reapplied with my channel, mm. right? Knowing that my channel fits within the guidelines, right? There's, there's no way possible you can go through my channel and say I'm reusing content and not making any changes, bro. Mm. That's, that's How long am I going to be doing this? until they take away my channel. And it could be a joke. Literally, you could just be joking around. That is what, I don't know, that's what sold me about YouTube. That's the reason why I started. And that's the dream that I had. I could go through racism here in Sweden, right? And everything could be like shitty, but at least there was a place somewhere out there where I could be free. I could say what I wanted. I'm not attacking other people. I'm just sitting and I'm just coming with my opinion. And as a black man, I felt like, okay, there, there's a place at least where racism doesn't exist. And that's the internet. Because bad how, bad how, countries will be racist and people will be racist and they'll take you from certain job opportunities, right? But at least on the internet, there are people which are above that, right? Apparently not. Apparently the internet's just like reality. So it's like, how much do we have to endure? We have content creators saying the N word, calling us black monkeys, hooga booga, doing all of that, right? And this is H3H3 and some of these videos are still on YouTube. And guess what they do? They demonetize my video when I'm calling it out. How is that fair? Like, honestly, how is that fair? It's not even me like, okay, I'm like, either we say it's okay across the board, right? We can call black people monkeys, we can call people crackers, we can say all of these things. Either we open it up and we can say whatever we want or we close it up and no one can say anything bad about anybody. But I've said this in so many videos where I'm like, is this fair? This guy is insulting black people. He's calling them niggers. He's using the N word. What does YouTube do? Nothing. They demonetize my video when I'm calling it out. As a black creator, you, you feel like you can only create in a certain, if it's not hip hop, they don't want you to create anywhere else. Because if I were to do a reaction video of a white man talking about quantum physics, which I did do, people got super pissed off. Why are you doing this? You're not, I'm like, I'm talking, I'm coming with my opinion people became super pissed off and I'm starting to realize it's not because it's not the fact that my opinions are not like super strong. It's the fact that I'm a black creator that is trying to move from hip hop into something else. And if I do that, that's a no, no, because the niggers are supposed to stay within hip hop. That's we're, we're supposed to talk about my fat ass. That's what we're supposed to talk about. We're not supposed to talk about something else. And when you do transition like this very, very good content creator here, when you do transition, what do they do? They slap you on the wrist. So if they see that he is doing it and he gets slapped on the wrist for it, no one else is going to do it. We can't discuss politics. We can't do any of that because YouTube is going to be super vague with it. They're going to be super vague with it. If you say anything about certain types of people, you're done. Your channel is gone. And that is, it's unfair. But what are we going to do? We're black creators. What are we going to say? That's, that's a lie. But I reapplied and today I got back the mm. email. And um, your channel is not approved for YouTube monetization. <laughs> Hi, Night Talk. Mm. Thank you for applying to join the YouTube Partner Program. We carefully reviewed your channel, Night Talk. Unfortunately, we found that your channel is not in line with the YouTube channel monetization policies. Mm. So we cannot approve your application at this time. Don't worry. Nothing has changed for your channel. This just means you can't monetize yet. All right. Yet. Um, yeah. So, you know, I'm on my channel. Your channel isn't earning right now. Here's the reason that they gave me. Re, uh, they said I violated 
I reuse content. Channel uses someone else's content without making changes that add significant value. Hmm. Give you a list of do's here. List of, list of don'ts here. Yeah. Examples of what is not allowed to monetize. Short videos you compile from other social media websites. Never do that. Collections of songs from different artists, even if you have the permission. Never do that. Clips of moments from your favorite show edited together with literal or no narrative. Never done that. Content uploaded many times by other creators. Never done that. Promotion of other people's content, even if you have their permission. Never done that, right? I said before, the only thing that I thought maybe they were talking about is there were some YouTube shorts that I made where you just see my face and I say nothing throughout the entire minute clip. And I've, I took all those down, right? Took all those down. So as of right now, bro, there's no way possible that there's no way possible that I'm I'm but, violating the damn guidelines, bro. And I'm of the mindset, bro, like. But even though if he did, Ben Shapiro, all of these other content creators, they do the exact same thing. I've seen Brett Cooper, all of them, they do the exact same thing. Sometimes they can just watch a video and they're like, hmm, ah, ha ha ha, that's it. Or they watch a video and they have nothing, nothing significant to add to it. But when I watch them and I'm, I think like, okay, so since that's Brett Cooper and she's got what, three to four million subscribers, I can do it too. But what I'm starting to realize is like, no, no, no that's Brett Cooper, a white content creator. She, she can do that, but we cannot do that, right? And it's crazy, Brett Cooper, none of these like super big influencers are gonna talk about this because it's not really like in their ballpark. They don't really care. Like it's, it's who, who gives a damn, it's black people, you know? Think of this, right? There's Fresh and Fit, and then there is the Whatever podcast. Both of them should be demonetized. Both of these podcasts should be demonetized because they're doing the exact same content. But the only difference that I can see between Fresh and Fit and the Whatever podcast, race. Okay, so the whites get to do it. They get to talk about relationships. They get to do reactions. They get to do all of that. No demonetization. But if you're a black content creator which is doing this, and I'm saying this right out to you guys, if you're a black content creator and you're not doing buffoonery, stupid shit like, oh, you're not making yourself look like an idiot, a clown, guess what? You're gonna get demonetized. Because if you come with a totally, if you're super smart and you're coming with, like you're super intellectual and you're saying, the like super smart things, guess what? They don't want that. They don't want you to to feed knowledge to the other idiots. They want you to be just an idiot. That's what they want because, okay, ah, it's buffoonery. It's idiots. Oh, that's great. Great. Yeah, no, no, they're in their hip hop. They're in their, they're in their garbage over there, right? Because even think of this, right? Mr. Beast went to Africa. He bored some... Wells it wasn't crazy, it wasn't like a weird thing. It wasn't a weird thing. It was a, hey, I want to help out. I don't like what's happening there. I watched the video and I was like, wow, it inspired me. I was like, okay, maybe I should. But guess what? He he started getting backlash, and then I'm I, I got it. I was like, oh, okay, 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 because there's a concerned effort to continue this, to continue like. When you look at Africa, it's supposed to be the poor kid. The Africans, oh, these are stupid Africans. They don't know. They're not smart enough to they're not smart enough to do anything. They're just they're just idiots. These are retards. Look at them. Oh, we'll go there. Oh, look at these Africans. They're morons. We need to help the Africans. All of a the sudden they're there. Taking all our resources. Taking all every single cobalt, everything is just getting milked taken everything and we're sitting there we're taking it we just got to take it and we just got to take it over and over and over after a while you're like what else like we're, we're playing the game fair we're doing what we're supposed to do but still we're getting fucked over why that's what i'm saying i'm calling it out youtube is racist 
YouTube is very, very racist. I can tell you 100%. I'm gonna take a picture of it when the video comes out. This video is gonna be demonetized. Either it's not gonna show up in the algorithm, it's gonna be demonetized. But if I put it out on Twitter, there's no problem. Like I'm lapping myself on Twitter. I'm lapping myself on Twitter. And I'm starting to think like, what's the difference between YouTube and Twitter? I mean, the algorithm's the same, still same people. It's like, it, practically it's the same, right? But what's, what's the biggest difference? Yeah, it's because the black content creators on YouTube are getting silenced. But the white ones, guess what? They get to do whatever they want. This is the YouTube shit, you know what I'm saying? You get what you sign up for, bro, but this, like, is right. unfair, right? It's unfair, right? There's nothing I can do. My hands are tied, right? And I really don't know what I'm going to do with the channel, man. Real talk. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm going to the channel, all right? You know, I put a lot of work into this shit, especially for the past three months for the free ski. Mm -hmm. Not even for the free ski. Like, I enjoy doing what I'm doing, but still, bro, like, to know that you are being done dirty this way, dog, and then it's, I know it's the same Cry me river story, bro. And it's not that. It's not that. I just know how it seems. And I'm not trying to make it seem that way, bro. But it's unfair than a motherfucker, bro. And you know, man, I'm I'm in, I'm talking behind the scenes to all the other content creators that have, that have been going through the same shit. Like before me and after me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Blitz, uh, different perspective, um, uh, Boyd, uh, Cliff Beats, uh, bro. Like you name it, we all been getting drug through the ringer, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and mind you, my ass, I thought I've been doing it the right way. I waited mm. my little three month yeah. probationary period, mm. you know what I'm saying? Get my hand slapped for nothing. And and I reapply and then pow again. Nope. Not this time. So yeah, bro. I I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I cannot just stop using my channel, just you know, give up, bro. I put too much fucking time and sweat and energy into this bro i got built a community here dog and youtube has you by the fucking balls bro yeah yeah i agree 100 percent. 100 percent. they do they do because what are you gonna do they they have no customer service they have n they have nothing you can't contact anybody you have to try to bypass them you have to go twitter you have to do all of that and that's that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm also going to start working on Twitter. I'm going to start working on Rumble because bad how bad how they can just demonetize you. And Russell Brand got demonetized for just speaking the truth. For ju He just spoke the truth. Guess what? He got demonetized. Did not even matter. It is, it is what it is. But I agree 100% with him. Um, going to Night Talk... I don't know, like uh, my channel isn't that big, but if you guys can go into night talk or I don't know, send something to YouTube or just like something, just, I don't know, maybe comment or I don't even know because I feel like it's so unfair and there's just no point.